Hey guys, Sean here. <sighs> Y'all going to get over the vertical videos. They're just quick and easy for me to do right now. Okay, so I saw a video on Brian Red's, DJ Brian S. Red's YouTube channel. And I wanted to give a little bit of insight from a system designer of what's going on with the EV, with some of the guys saying that the EV Evolve or these compact line array systems are too loud in the front, not too loud in the back. What's going on from a system designer standpoint, designing line arrays, point source systems for small, medium, and large churches, venues, both small and big, line arrays, we do it all. I'm a system designer, so let's go. Let's talk a little bit about the Evolve 50, why you won't see me running any type of column line array system versus a regular line array system. Let's go. Okay, so I looked up quickly the specs on the Evolve 50. Um, the specs claim 120 degrees horizontal coverage and 40 degrees vertical coverage. Now, I have yet to know if these specs are accurate because... The biggest issue is I don't have one of these to test. Uh, I would actually want to test this bot, to test this system on uh, my company's Meyer Sound Sim 3 system. The reason I would like to test that is to find the minus six points on the system to, deter to determine if EV's specs are correct. EV, if you want to send me one of these boxes, I would love to test it for you guys. Now, here's the bigger issue. The top of the box, let's say that the middle of the box is where the dispersion comes from, it's 40 degrees. Well, if the middle of the box, let's see what the height is on one of these. Let's see if I can find a height. The column is 32 and a half. Um, I have no idea how tall the pole is. Let me just pull up a picture of the. Yeah, judging from the pole height, it looks about to be. Uh, a four foot pole, maybe. So the whole system's only like six and a half feet tall. And for a 40 degree vertical coverage, that's too short. What's going to happen is, is if, is if I, if I was to put in a system of spec into like say map 3d, what you would find is, is in, is right up front there'd be a hot spot as you go further back you know about 10 to 20 feet back you'd be down 3 db then another 10 feet to 15 feet back you'd be down another 3 db if you go back a little bit more you'd be down 3 db we like to in the industry for design we look for what's called minus 6 db now what minus 6 why we call it minus 6 is because that's where we're going to add a delay or a side fill we're going to add a supplementary speaker now, the reason why we call it the what the reason why we want the minus six point is very simple. It's physics. Well, it's not physics. It's math. Minus six dB plus minus six dB is zero dB. And the reason why we need that is so that way we can find optimum. We can have an optimum coverage, side to side, front to back. With these column array systems, you're not going to get that. If I was to if I was to design a perfect dance floor coverage with column array systems. I would need like nine of these things. And I don't think any customer will want to pay for that. So the issues are, they're not tall enough. If EV would offer a way to make these things be at actual height versus the stuff we're seeing, these systems would be very viable. That's why we don't have them. You have to get them tall. Now, if I was designing, like let's say a wedding dance floor is maybe 30 feet, 30 by 50 dance floor. These actually would be perfect because you would get 30 feet back. You'd only be probably down about 3 dB. And so it would be fine. You want to keep your talking areas quiet, your dance floor hopping. That would be how to do it. However, if you're trying to cover like a large area, like I've seen some guys try to do with these, they're not adequate. So you have to pick your battles with these systems. If you're turning it because you don't like how it's hot in the front and not in the back, well, if you buy like a K12 and throw it on a six-foot speaker stand, you're going to have the exact same issues. You have to get these speakers tall. 
Um, in fact, at work, we actually use lighting stands for our speakers because we're able to go to 12 or 13 feet with the stands. I've even got stands at work that'll go up to 16 and a half feet. And the reason we need that height is that way we're using the bottom of the coverage on the box. And therefore, from front to back, we might be down 3 to 6 dB versus 20 dB with a system at 6 feet. So there's a little bit of system design insight. Um, why I really don't think the Evolves are a great option because of for my line of work. Now, if, if I was like doing wedding DJ and that kind of stuff, and I was covering like, 40 by four by 50 dance floors the evolves would be perfect for that so so these guys buying these things to do school gyms they're not going to work for you. you 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 need to invest in another system um the systems are just not going to do what you want them to do so there's a little bit of insight on the evolve situation that brian was talking about uh, i hope this information is insightful uh, thank you guys for watching. Leave comments below if you have one.